Elon Musk's Neuralink faces hurdles, first human brain chip encounters issues. Neuralink, led by Elon Musk, encountered a setback with its first human brain chip implant when threads monitoring neurons became dislodged, the company disclosed. The malfunction began in late February, and it remains uncertain why the threads retracted or if they present a safety risk. Despite the issue, Neuralink has managed to mitigate data loss by adjusting its algorithm. The company's brain-computer interface, implanted in 29-year-old quadriplegic Nolan Darbaugh, includes 64 threads thinner than human hair, each carrying electrodes to detect brain activity. These are used to interpret brain signals into actions like moving a cursor. Arbaugh, who has been using the implant to play video games, hasn't faced immediate health issues despite the displacement. Neuralink has reported the incident to the FDA and plans further implantations. After modifying the decoding algorithm, the company improved the control accuracy, maintaining a stable performance level. There are so many questions we all have. Here are a few that may be of concern to you. Here are some thought-provoking questions that could be posed to readers after the summary. How do you feel about the potential and risks associated with brain-computer interfaces like Neuralink's implant? What implications could Neuralink's technology have for the future of medical treatments, particularly for neurological conditions? Given the issues encountered in this trial, what measures should be taken to ensure the safety and efficacy of such advanced implants in future trials? How might regulatory bodies like the FDA need to adapt to effectively oversee the rapidly advancing field of neural technology? What ethical considerations arise from the development and implementation of technology that can directly interact with human thoughts? Considering the adjustments made to the implant's algorithm to compensate for the dislodged threads, what does this say about the adaptability and resilience of such technology in dynamic real-world scenarios? What do you think? Let us know your answers in the comment area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. See you in the next video.